Okay, welcome back to the channel. We'll get to this in a minute, some trade updates, but without further ado, let's talk about the macro because this is super important right now, okay? Uh, we can see that, uh, yeah, I mean, we are still inside our massive range, our massive pattern here. Uh, we do have major, major measure moves towards the downside here if we do break down, uh, and that could get us lo as low as $50,000. Uh, I don't think we spend much time down there, and if that is really the bottom, right, at the end of this measure move, which typically at the end of measure moves, you can expect a low to be made, right? If that is the bottom, then uh, what we could expect here uh, is something that's pretty interesting, okay? Because this would actually align with quite a lot, and it would s open the door for a potential another parabolic run. Typically with parabolic runs, we like to actually uh, go just before a trend line or a structural line so that it becomes uh, exponential and parabolic uh, throughout that time. So that is a potential possibility. I'm not going to be too much swayed to that side right now. I am still expecting a bounce here more than anything, okay? Uh, we are seeing a bit of volatility on the daily, but uh, not as much as I would be expecting, really. We are still inside this bull market barrier, as you guys know. If we're above that, it's a bull market. If we're below it, it's a bear market. If we're kind of in the middle, uh, it's, it's usually a transition into a bear market or uh, a massive pullback in which uh, we look to uh, essentially find good buys. But uh, as of right now, as we talked about in the previous video, uh, we haven't spent, like normally we don't spend much time uh, inside this. Come on, mate, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, normally we don't spend much time in this when it is a pullback. Uh, so this is looking more and more like a transition into a bit of a crypto winter before uh, next year, potentially, where we go parabolic. So keep an eye on that. Again, we've got the Mount, Mount Gox news, right, where they're going to be selling $5 billion onto the market. Uh, we also have uh, another, I think it was... Germany or German government uh, transferred some money to exchanges. I think it was like 15 million. Nothing crazy, okay, but uh, yeah, enough to potentially move the needle here where uh, where people do get a little bit freaked out and they sell their Bitcoin. But uh, yeah, we're not one of those people. We're here to trade from a neutral, non-biased stance. So yes, there is a potential short here from 56 down to 53 and then closing that out 50K if we do break this 56 zone okay uh, but uh yeah while we're inside this zone we can basically do anything we can pump up uh, or we can come down uh, and if we do pump up here then uh, we're looking to really get over this trap zone this trap zone is this wick in parallel with the candle body trend line okay if we get over this trap zone around 64k that kind of zone then uh, there will be potential trades once we break out of this uh this bull market barrier so from 66.5 up to about 70k that would be a beautiful trade uh, and then if we go down oh actually oh what did i just do hello <laughs> What did I just do? Uh, yeah, let's let's just wrap this up real quick. So we've got the three-day volume weighted ATR band here. Typically, I'd expect to bounce on this thing, but uh, yeah, I would I would be surprised. But uh, if it doesn't want to do that, then uh, we do have a plan towards a downside for shorting. Okay, in a more crashing scenario, we also have this four-hour volume weighted ATR band that I'm going to talk about right here, right now. Okay, so that is this green line here. Okay, if we do get above this and stay above it, typically we can expect a massive wave up. So yeah, just keep keep an eye on that one. We can see we have been messing around it for the past day or so but uh yeah Let's talk about some of the trades here, right? So uh, we, we targeted a long here yesterday, uh, which was essentially this bad boy at 9 p.m. for me. I don't know when it is for you guys, but uh, yeah, I mean, nice little 1% trade here up to that four hour volume weighted ATR band. That did play out. We did get in that. That was good. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't on my copy trading account, but uh, it was on my main account, which I make I actually make money on. So <laughs> that's good. Okay. Uh, and yeah, that, that trades out the way. Good. We'll, we'll, we'll tick that one off. We'll chalk it up. Okay. And and the next trade we talked about here was this bad boy. What we were looking for is a clear break above the four hour volume weighted ATR band, right? Then we were looking for a retest and then we were looking to break the high. Okay, what happened here is we did get a break above it but after this candle here on the hourly, it just kind of trickled down. And this is not really what you want to see here uh, when you're expecting a trade upwards. And because of that, I really just didn't take this trade. Okay, so I woke up this morning uh, and I said, hey, uh, let's just see how this behaves. We did start pumping up here. We did break the high. But uh, for me, it just wasn't good enough before that overnight, right? I was looking for a bit more fluid price action. And this this was 
also in tandem with the liquidation heat map. So uh, we were just saying, okay, let's wait for this one. We, we didn't enter it. And uh, yeah, it was a good decision, clearly, right? <laughs> it was a good decision not to enter this long. And uh, we saved some money there uh, on a potential uh, little, little bit of a pullback here. But uh, honestly, we probably would have had our stop loss fairly close on this line anyway, right? So uh, yeah, it wouldn't have been ma a massive loss if we did take this. Uh, but uh, yeah, we didn't take the trade. And now we are just chilling, waiting for this thing to either take a leg down to the 60 volume weighted ATR band, or completely recover here, where we do get a, a bit of a, a bit of a nice trend, right? But um, yeah, not too much on the trend line side for trades here. You could still probably target this trade, but it's kind of risky. We don't have any measure moves really to back this up as of right now. So uh, I would be just waiting for any kind of new pattern to form here. We can see somewhat of a pattern forming uh, on the hourly here, which would be something. Uh, akin to this, right? Uh, a wedge structure, which if we did break down from this point, 61.1, uh, you could probably find a little trade down here to 60K. Very risky, of course, uh, on the, the DGN gamble side, but uh, yeah, it is there and it is something that's viable. We're below that four hour. Uh, it does make sense to curl over here. But uh, yeah, if it doesn't happen, then we do have this wedge structure towards the upside where we can target that trade up to the 60 minute volume weighted ATR band, which is essentially the same trade as we were targeting yesterday, uh, maybe slightly smaller in profit, but uh, still something where we would get over resistance. Okay, we would be breaking out of this chart pattern and uh, we would be breaking over these highs as well, right? So diagonal resistance chart pattern and the high break. I mean, yeah, that's that's a pretty clear shot where we can make one to two percent here. If I just drag that up, yeah, one one point eight percent, beautiful stuff. So that's pretty much my plan here coming through. And not a crazy long video here today. Not too much to update you guys on. We did get a bounce, okay, as predicted. And now we are chilling, uh, expecting this to either have a longer form bounce or uh, just go down a little bit lower. If this does want to go down lower, we can go down as low as 57k and recover. But if we go below that, very bad for Bitty, okay? We're still looking to set up our grid bot in this area. Some of the big names in crypto I've been talking to behind the scenes, okay? Uh, these these real OGs out here, okay? They have been saying that as of right now, it does make sense to be setting up a grid bot uh, somewhere between 50K and 70K and just letting this thing do its random walk, okay? And uh, making sure your, your liquidations are outside of those ranges, okay? So yeah, that's how I would be playing this right now in the long term. And uh, yeah, until we do essentially break the all-time high, uh, we are chilling out here waiting for that next run up. And yeah, it's unfortunate that we have been stopped a little bit early here on this run. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's the way things can go. And we are just going to chill on this one and make money where we can because it's been a pretty good year. All right, let's just relax and uh, kind of take it all in. OK, and, and look for that next trade where we can make copious amounts of cash. OK, um, I wasn't going to show you guys this. This was a Patreon paid trade. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, just take a look at this while I do bring up uh, something else here. I do just want to show you uh, a lot of you guys got a little bit annoyed about the uh, about the Jason thing. But for me, it was a clear edge, right? It's not like I'm promoting a celebrity coin or something like this. Technically, yeah, you could you could frame it as that. But uh, for me, this this was more of an edge, right? And I show you guys my edges all the time. OK, so uh, let's jump into this. Where is where is this? Hello? Why isn't this working? Oh, it's a new tab now? Okay. There you go. Did that work? No. <laughs> what is going on here, dude? Why isn't this working? Hang on. Sorry, guys. I am trying. I am trying to find this. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, we're back in the game. We're back in the game here, guys. All right. So, uh, yeah, if we are looking at this thing, uh, one thing I did want to say is, yes, this coin behaved fantastically. We were targeting a 30% pump yesterday if we broke the all-time high. And yes, we did that. And it's continuing to pump. I do still have a bag in this thing. Uh, so yeah, just keep an eye on Jason. I will be doing another video on this uh, in a minute. But uh, yeah, just an update there, guys. That was the edge we were looking for. We did get that edge. It's not like I'm here uh, saying, buy this, it's Jason Derulo. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a bit of criteria that's great. But it's more like the chart. Yeah, okay, it's passed all the criteria. It's got a website. It's got a strong community of 150 million people, uh, potentially. And yeah, I would be expecting 30% here, right? I'm not here banging it for 200x, although I do still hold some of the position I put in here. So uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. But um, yeah, another successful trade here on the Hamilton of Crypto channel. All right, so that's going to be it from me. Keep an eye on Bitcoin here because
because uh, things could get very, very messy when you see the order book looking like this. All right. Uh, but that is going to be it for me. Have a fantastic day. Thank you for liking the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing. And uh, yeah, if you let me know your trading view name in the comment, I will give you one week on the volume weighted OTR band. See you next time.